Welcome to another coloring from Escape to Wonderland. I decided that it will be interesting to show you this page, because even if the main image is quite simple, I tried to do interesting background and I used various paints. As my main medium I selected gouache paint. First I was thinking about doing a rich blue background. But then I remembered that traditionally dress of Alice is blue, so I needed something else. And in the end, from my big set of Arteza gouache, which I purchased uh, as my Christmas gift, I selected a wine berry, a very beautiful color. I really like it. But you know that I simply can't color anything with just one color. So as a secondary paint, I will be using one of the Perlescent paints, which were also included in this set. This second paint is called Pearl Coral. It's a little bit lighter, but together they look really nice. The only problem is that on video it's very difficult to catch all those Perlescent or metal shining which we have on Arteza paints or finer color paints, but I will try to show you this difference in textures. So first, I grabbed small brush and I use this wine red to outline all the main details on the page. Then I switched to bigger flat brush and I covered the whole background with two layers of gouache. When I applied paint, I used tiny amount of water. Basically, I simply used slightly wet brush and then I grabbed paint directly from the tube. I really was quite happy with the um, um, coverage of this paper. Gouache is creamy and color is really rich and I do love this matte finish which gouache always provides. When you have a page with many tiny objects like I have here and when you need to go with your background color around all those objects, it's a little bit difficult to get completely plain opaque background. So I noticed that in some of the areas a vertical brush strokes which I used for applying gouache were still visible. And I decided to turn this fold of the background into interesting treat of my page. I thought that I can transform it into the sign of the vertical falling of Alice. It's exactly what this picture about that she is falling down and if I would increase, emphasize this vertical line, it can add some interesting treat to the background. So when I applied this wine red, I waited for a couple of minutes and on top of it I applied that coral pearl paint. But I also switched to interesting shape of brush. It's called Filbert Grainer. It was designed for drawing or coloring fur or hair. So it's very helpful when you need to draw thin lines. And with this gouache paint and with this brush I added more vertical lines around the body of Alice. I really liked the difference in textures between matte finish of a regular gouache and perlescent finish of pearl gouache, so I decided that I want to increase this effect, so I grabbed my set of color of fine tech perlescent watercolors, I selected colors pearl lilac and bronze, it's beautiful orange color. And I sprinkled them a little bit on top of the vertical lines. They also looked very nice and shiny on top of the matte surface of my background. And to create even bigger difference in textures, I grabbed a white titanium opaque gouache and on top of my pearl lilac and Bronze, I also added a little bit of tiny white dots. It was a very quick work, 
But in the end, I was very pleased with the effect which I got, so I definitely will be using gouache as one of the main mediums in this book for doing backgrounds. You know that I previously mentioned in my videos when I did other pages in this book that when you use regular watercolors, they create quite ugly dots on the paper because here I have second edition of the book. So paper is slightly different from my other books like Shakespeare or Escape to Oz or Christmas Pass. There I didn't have problems with watercolor. Unfortunately here it's easier to use gouache because gouache it provides more opaque background, more opaque layering and there are no those ugly dots. This page is my first serious try of Arteza gouache. As I said, I purchased it for Christmas and still I hadn't used it. I'm so lazy. But with this page I was very happy with my first experiment. I noticed that comparing to my other gouache sets, I own gouache by White Knights, the same manufacturer as who did watercolors. And I also have a couple of bottles of Ukrainian gouache. Arteza is a little bit thinner, not so dense, not so thick, so it's easier to put it on the paper. And the nicest thing is that on top of it, it's easier to work with pencils. Because with my other gouaches, you get quite uneven surface, very thick and when you work on top of it with pencils, it looks very grainy. Here, because of the more delicate texture of this gouache, I didn't have any problems with working on top of gouache with pencils. You will see that as a last step of my doing background, I selected matching color from set of my Star Joy pencils and with this a very dark purple I added some contrast around the body of Alice to increase this impression of falling. For the main image I decided to use two color pencils, again because I really love difference of textures. I have background with matte color, then a little bit of shiny accents and so color they create a slightly waxy shining on the page. I do love them on this paper, they layer nicely, they cover pencil paper nicely. So so color set was my first choice for this image. And I do love to switch between my various sets. It helps me not to be bored, so to say. I hope that you will enjoy this mixed media background and that you will be watching also the second part where I will be doing Alice.